how to use a pipe freeze kit. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video I'm going to freeze this pipe here. This is a cold mains pipe and we've got an outside tap at the other side there. I want to remove this pipe here so I'm going to freeze this pipe here just on this bend and then I'm going to cut that pipe work off put a stop end on here. The reason I'm not going in the house and freeze and um, turning the stop tap off is the stop tap is quite awkward to get to. It's behind a plinth and the, and the floor's been tiled. And to get the plinth off, I've got to take the dishwasher out. And it's just hard work. And I just thought I'd use it as an opportunity just to do a video for you guys and girls. Um, so yeah, as I say, I'm gonna cut this off here and we'll put some bars on the wall and stuff. So yeah, um, if you like this type of video, please put a thumbs up, please put a comment below. Really appreciate that. And um, let's get on with it. Just before I freeze this, I'll just show you pressure. Well, I won't show you pressure, I'll show you flow. I ain't got my pressure gauge, but I've got flow cup. Uh, we've got really, really good pressure here. Really good flow. So we've got about 20 litres a minute on there. Maybe a bit more, really. So I'll just turn that back off now and I'll set up the freeze kit. I've got some electric plug sockets here. So I've just put a waterproof mat on here. You can use these for ramp radiators and stuff as well. I've got the jacket. So I'm just gonna put this jacket on here and then what we'll do, we'll freeze, we'll freeze the pipe. One thing to point out as well, before you start freezing, if it's on like a central heating system or something like that, then you need to turn pumps off and obviously you're not allowed any water to be flowing through while you, while you do the freeze. Also, the system needs to be cool below 20 degrees. So you wouldn't be able to use this on, on, hot, on hot systems. So we've put the, I've put the jacket on there. I've just got a jacket in my pocket just to show you the inside. On the inside of the jacket, it's got like a brass Part of it so what you're going to try and do is locate that on tight onto the pipe as you can so what we'll do now we'll just put some i'll set i'll, I'll set all this up here i'll put the can on I've got the weighing scales here i'll put the can on and then we'll do we'll do the freeze so to freeze this i'm going to use the arctic spray so it's the arctic haze pipe freezer pro kit i've got a full, full kit which I've, I've shown before I've put his little um, jacket on there. I've also got his smart probes from Testo, so we can have a look at the temperature as well, which I thought might be quite interesting um, as we're doing this. So on, on this, you've just got a little, uh, a little tube and it just pushes in into this brass regulator, really easy. And then you just push it in to here. And then all we're gonna do, we're just gonna open this up slowly and as we open it up, we don't want any drips coming out of here. If it starts dripping, then we need to back off on it. So I've set up the app for the smart probe and I'm just gonna turn the regulator on now. Now you can weigh this, it's got weighing scales with it and you can weigh how much of the, the gases that you use. But just to remember, if you're allowing it to drip, then you're wasting it. So you just need to be careful that it's not dripping as you do it. So I'm just gonna open this now. And if we have a look on the app here, we should notice that this will start dropping in temperature. So just putting a little bit in, turn it up a little bit. You might not be able to see it, but there's like a, a mist, like a steam coming off it. And as we're looking on the app, we can see that the temperature is dropping. Now, just to bear in mind, the, the clamp is a bit further away. You can see there, it's dripping, it's running out. So that means we need to back it off, turn it back down. 
we don't want it to be dripping because we're just wasting the product if it's dripping it's dripping that mat we're just wasting it just turn it back down a bit as we can see on the app it's gone down now it's going down and down we're at about just under 14 degrees there 13 so we need to let that um let that cool down for a little bit then we can just put a bit more turn it back up a little bit you notice it's not it's not dripping now we should be able to hear a click on here and if you hear that click it means that the ice plug has formed and then once you do that it says it should wait a further five minutes if it's on copper pipe just to allow it to cool down enough before you cut your pipe turn it up a little bit you can see it's just started to drip again here this side so I'm just going to back it off again a bit more you can see it's dropping down now on the app we've got it down to just just over seven degrees now so this is where it's saying that you need to wait the five minutes I think it would a good idea to use these probes bearing in mind the probe is a little bit away from it but I've, I've done it as close as I can so we should this should go down to I think it says minus 50 or down to them sort of temperatures but I think it's important that you leave it enough time to actually work I know that some people in some comments on other videos have said they've had problems with these and sometimes they've leaked that could be because it's been done wrong maybe maybe it's not been left long enough or maybe the pipe's been too hot it's been on hot water or even it could be you've done it too co close to a pipe that's flowing so i was speaking to a guy yesterday richard richard McHugh, who was a really good mate of mine who was a plumber and he works for council and he uses these freeze kits and he says that what you've got to do is make sure it's not too close to the main so if it's in a block of flats for instance and it's flowing then you can't have this too close to it because it, it won't freeze so on this now we're down to down to six i'm just going to turn it back up again i don't know if you heard that then but it clicked so we know now that it's formed that plug and then once it clicks then it says you've got to wait um as i say five minutes so we'll just um turn that back off now you can see on there now it's all formed you've got all ice around there on on this um testo smart probe this is the testo 115i smart probe and this is as i say it's it's as close as i can get to it at the moment it's showing that the pipe is 1.6 degrees so and it's just dropping just dropping slowly so as i say this is it's a bit of a waiting game and i know in our job we're always trying to rush things so as i say sometimes when people have problems maybe they just haven't waited long enough and they've just started cutting into pie but hopefully this video will show you in real time that you have got to wait you've got to wait and as we're waiting on here the temperature is dropping just uh, see if we can get this a bit closer yeah that's a bit better now it's dropping now that the probe won't on close enough really so we're going down it's at zero degrees now it's now going down to minus on smart probe So I think what we'll do now, just leave it a few minutes and then I'll come back and we'll cut into pipe. So we're all the way down now to minus 17 on the smart probe. So I'm just gonna cut into the pipe now. And then you could open the tap as well. Just check, make sure there's no flow coming out. And then at least you know then it's not gonna burst out. But yeah, let's cut into pipe. 
These cutters are not the best cutters in the world. We might get a little bit of water out of here as well. So we can see that it's definitely frozen. It's done what it needs to do. I've got my cap ends ready and me uh, And that's it, how you freeze, how you freeze a pipe. Obviously we've got a little bit of water coming out of this pipe here. But yeah, I hope you found this video of some use. If you use freeze kits, please put some of your experiences below. If you've got any bad experiences, put them in as well. If you've got any good experiences, put them in. Let me know what you use as well. And thanks for watching.